welcome to tutorials point in this demo we will learn what a dto is and why we need a dto when we already have a domain model let's test the application using fiddler go to the composer tab and just say offices and issue a get request and note that we are getting the offices object so basically these are the instances of the office model that we have seeded our database and um, you can go and retrieve a specific office okay and even then the request is successful okay so right now what we have done is we have exposed the entire set of database entities okay these entities to the client okay the client basically receives data that maps directly to our database tables however that's not always a good idea or a good practice sometimes you might want to change the shape of the data that you send to the client for example you might want to hide particular properties that the clients are not supposed to view or you might want to omit some properties in order to reduce payload size so for that so to accomplish this you can use something called as a data transfer object a data transfer object is an object that defines how the data will be sent over the network okay so in this video tutorial let us create two data transfer objects the first one is called office dto and the second one is called office detail DTO for the get method that returns a list of offices we probably may not need the location and we may need only the ID of the office and the employee name that belongs to that particular office okay so for that particular purpose we can create something called as office DTO and we can use that office DTO to return for the get request which basically request all the offices and we can create one more DTO called an office detail DTO that we can basically use to return the data for individual offices so first let's create the office DTO right click on your models and just say add a class and just create office DTO class DTO signifies that it is a data transfer object and office DTO contains only two properties ID and employee name rather than the location ID okay the location and let me save that and let me add one more class called office detail DTO I will name this class office detail DTO and in office detail DTO I will replace the code that I have already created and this particular code basically has employee or rather the office ID location and the employee name so let me save that and let's go to the offices controller and change the methods to return office DTO for the general get method which basically returns all the offices and here we will return office detail DTO the method that returns the individual offices I have already created the query that basically queries the data and returns the office DTO so what I will do is I will remove this code and just copy paste okay so let us go through this code now so what this code does is that it uses the context object to retrieve the list of officers okay, and stores that within the variable called officers so this variable contains all the officers entries within the database and from here what I am doing is I am selecting a new office DTO okay. if you compare office and office DTO over here office as ID location and employee ID whereas office DTO as ID and employee name okay? it does not have location and employee ID okay? so how do we fetch this employee name from the office let's see the controller 
So basically, this x represents each instance or each entry within an office. So I am basically using x dot id or this id represents the id within the offices and this id represents the id within the office DTO. Okay? So basically, I am using this to assign the value from my offices class or the officers table to the office DTO class. Okay? And then I am using this x to use the navigation property called employee within my office. Okay. If you see in office, I have a navigation property called employee and using this navigation property, I am accessing the employee name. Okay. So basically, how do we use the navigation property is that I will say employee. When I say employee, the employee class will be loaded and then you just need to say employee dot name. Only then you'll be able to access the employee name from within the office context. So basically I'm saying x dot employee which is the navigation property and dot name which basically refers to the employee name and assigning it to the employee name which is a property that we have defined within the office DTO. And that's how you create a query that will return an office DTO but that will basically go and query your office entity. So this office DTO is only for transfer over the wire to the end user. It is not actually an entity that is stored within the database. Now let's do the same for getting individual offices as well. Note that we have already renamed it as office detail DTO. So let me go and replace the code over here and here this is a bit complex code. So let me take some time to understand. So basically I am first selecting offices and then I am saying dot include which means that I am eager loading the employees entity into my office entity. Okay, I can do that because office entity as a navigation property and using that navigation property basically I am loading both office and employee entity at once. Okay, So once I load both the employee and office entity at once what I am basically doing is I am selecting a new instance of office detail DTO and if you see office detail DTO, it basically has three properties ID, location and employee name. Okay, So that's what I've given here ID, location and employee name basically refers to office detail DTO and I'm using this variable to retrieve data from the combined entities of office and employees. So X dot ID basically refers to ID within the office x dot location basically refers to location within the office x dot employee basically refers to the employee navigation property within the office which is this and using the navigation property I am retrieving the name and basically I am selecting only one value okay? and basically I am checking if it is null or not if it is not null I am basically returning not found if it is not null I am returning ok and I am returning office variable into that so let me save the project and let me build the solution. So let's go to Fiddler and go to Composer tab and uh, let's say Officers and issue a GET request and see the output over here. Basically, I am receiving Office DTO rather than Officers Office object like it was earlier. See earlier I was getting location but now I am getting ID and employee name and if I say officer slash one I should be getting office detail DTO okay office detail DTO with employee name and ID so that's how you use DTOs to help in transferring data to the client thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning